as you can see, I just need to clear out all this and start cutting it into a straight edge like that. I'll show you how I started up here. I'll go to the top quickly. Just put this here. So, as you can see there, where I've cut it away, so make it nice, nice straight edge, just so it looks better, really. So it's like this bit here, this used to be hard to corner because you couldn't really see. Whereas now I've dug this all out. So when you're coming from up here, you can see it so much better. So you can set up for it. So we're gonna do that at the bottom bit. Uh, because it's just started raining, I'm gonna put that camera away, change the uh, the housing on this into a waterproof one and I'll just do some time lapses for now and I'll catch you back when it starts raining. So, off camera, I've just been clearing all this all the way up there. Technique I use is, I'll show you on this bit here. Sometimes I'll go like this, which brings a straight edge. But that's only good if it's softer like this. If we go here, <clears throat> I use this bit. It's sharp enough to do this and cut in to the side which makes it look good like all that up there once you cut in it's easier just to go like this and pull the dirt away now the one problem is you get blisters like that which is why I wear these gardening gloves. Because it's just helpful. So, I'm gonna go all the way along here, try and tidy up where that stump is, and then we're gonna head, head down there. Let's just do a bit more of this. Here, there's another stump here. Well, just from doing that bit, you can see how much better it looks than all this overgrown stuff. 
so I'll go from here just to here which won't take long because it's not as bad as that let's just say that took way longer than I expected it's because of all this the ferns they've got a really bad root so it goes from this nice like sandy clay to like mud and root well this looks nice I'm gonna leave this stump in because it adds more of a well not technical but it just makes it a little bit harder to get around there and then this berm might be able to compact it a little bit more because it has been raining and as you can see it's a little bit wet but that looks so much better down there leave a comment of what this trail should be called I'll do a quick run down on my bike I'm not a run a ride down sorry and then uh, it'd be really helpful if you could give name ideas because we're a bit stuck for name ideas what I noticed in my e-bike video is the GoPro was facing too far down so this is kind of just a test to see if it's any better but we'll just walk up the trail quickly I'll catch you when I get to the top well as you can see on my tyres it's definitely much stickier the dirt anyway so I used to have two Vittorio Martellos because I, you, I was testing them for Vittoria but then as I'm not doing it this year I put a big hole in it when a rock hit it and if you look there so as I was saying before the camera died I need to sort my back wheel out because if you look at that spoke there's a little dint so I must have hit a rock or something so I'll just throw it up again because it is a little bit out of true but I built this wheel myself and it's pretty strong DT Swiss EX471 same wheels that Danny Art runs and quickly just while we're walking up I need to sort this bit out but it was too dry it was like chipping rock and also another thing the audio should sound a little bit better because I'm using the microphone in my GoPro now I would get my DSLR out but it's raining and we'll have to wait for Tom cameraman to uh, come after the, this virus goes away because we'll get some sick videos we can do some like raw raw sound videos like the Red Bull ones anyway the top's just up there I'll meet you up there so we're at the top but because I'm clipped in I have to get on the mud out my cleat otherwise I can't get in <laughs> which is the problem with trail building in clay areas See if I can get clipped in. Yeah, right. So we're gonna head down here. Get my other foot clipped in. Yep. Let's go. So this bit runs a little bit faster, and then there's the wet rock garden. That's easy. A nice flat pedal to these berms. Slow down a bit here. Catch it. Oh, <laughs> no. Alright, let's try that again. So this bit's the fun bit, or all this really. But that's the easier bit. Rock garden. And then the pedal as I was saying before is good. Just for getting yourself for this. So let's try and not fall off here again. Yeah, easy. <laughs> and then you come down here. This bit hasn't been cleared yet, but it, I'll show you a bit. Come down here. This is the steepest stuff. Drop, drop again. And you're coming to this bit. You can go faster, but it's wet. You drop down here. 
across the roots and the rocks down into here. So this is the double drop. Goes down there and you go down there. When it's wet, it's proper slippy. And you can see the, the ruts that are forming. And the best part is if you miss that corner, you're going down there. <laughs> Come back to watch episode three when we're doing all this. 